What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Zoe B Show. I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Palm Restaurant inside the Westin Hotel. Here you can order steak, seafood, and something to drink. Alcohol, you know what I mean. If you want. The Palm is, again, located inside the Westin, so check it out. You have a nice place to stay and a nice restaurant to eat. Here with me is Red Coat the Poet. How are you? Nothing, none at all. Just chilling in the That's what's up. Now, you're currently in Atlanta. You live here. Tell me about the competition as far as networking with known producers and with known artists. Well, uh, as far as that, it's just... Like with me in terms of like, you know what I'm saying, like network. I mean, you really just got to kind of get out here and just kind of, you know, grind. just grind. And you're really looking for like like, like like-minded like individuals, you know what I'm saying, people that share the same goals that you do. And once you connect with that, and then everything else kind of happens, you know. So, you know, a, a lot of times when you, you know, when you're trying to work with like, you know, artists that's more known, got a bigger name, Right. You know, you just kind of, kind of work around their schedule. But if they, you know what I'm saying, if, if they, if they rock with you, then they rock with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, then I mean, you really just gotta find some. You know, you gotta find that, that, you know, the right person. You know what I'm saying? Who gonna kind of work with you? Help, help Being you in Atlanta, yeah. there are so many artists that they, they say they're doing this or say they're doing that. Right. But how are you able to pick the serious ones out from the BS? Uh, I mean, I know really, that's hard. I mean, actions speak louder than words, you know right. what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, if you're serious about, you know what I'm saying, hooking up and making some music, you know what I'm saying? You know, doing a collab role, uh, you know, making some, some magic, then it's going, you know, you know what I'm saying, the magic going to happen, but if you then, you know, you're going to keep the moving. Right. <laughs> now, come January, um, 2015, right. you will be coming out with EP. What's the name of that? Well, the EP is still kind of like, I'm not really, you know what I'm saying, we haven't really decided on the EP yet, uh -huh. but it's possible, so it might happen. So it's going to be a surprise. Website. Yeah, it's going to be a surprise. Well, okay. we're we basically telling everybody now, so y'all just keep checking with the website. <laughs> okay, now, tell them the website. And the website is www.redcoatmusic.com. Because uh, what happened is, I mean, the project that we got coming next is uh is anti-establishment part two. Uh, that project is is it's a continuation of my first solo album. Okay. And I, I I I wanted to challenge myself. And I was like, what's the best way to challenge myself? Okay. My first solo album, you know, we, we, we felt like excuse me, we felt like it's a street classic. You know what I'm saying? So I want to outdo, or if not outdo, I want to drop drop something with that type of quality, if not better. Right. So, you know, I was like, okay, we're going to do uh, A2, which is the okay. anti-establishment part, part two. So, and I recorded like 40 songs for it. So I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to put all 40 songs on that one Ooh. project, right. maybe a little bit too much. So, you know, maybe we'll drop like a little EP leading up to it. Okay. Now, speaking of establishment, what are the struggles that you go through as an underground artist and its advantages? I mean, the main struggle is, you know what I'm saying, is, I mean, being under, under, underground is that, you know, we're trying to get heard. Right. And for most under, under, underground artists, we don't have, like, a huge budget. You know what I'm saying? We don't have, you, you know, a, a major label with the major backing behind us. So we got to kind of figure out a way so we can make our mark into this game. You know what I'm saying? So I think probably, as far as being an underground artist, probably one of the biggest, the biggest struggles is being heard uh, on the mainstream level. Being heard by uh, a good amount of people, uh, building your own fan fan base. You know, that's that's gonna take a lot of grind, and it just take a lot of foot footwork, and it take a lot of grind groundwork. You know, that's you know that's probably one of the most difficult things. Just you know, being heard on a platform that you feel like that you deserve to be heard. Right now, do you feel like such artists like B.O.B. and Yo Gotti and Rocco, do you feel like they paved a way for underground artists and independent artists? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah. I mean, because 
they was able to all all, all of those all, artists all. they started you know on the underground they started right. as as independent artists and they was able to make a fan base so yeah i think that i i, I think that those those artists definitely played the